Today I want to talk about luck. I have a very firm belief that you work yourself into luck. And what I mean by that is the harder you work at developing your game plan, at marketing, at promoting, whatever it is that you're selling, the more lucky you're going to get. And the reason is that hard work opens up doors that would not have opened up if it weren't for your hard work. So you actually have to step out in faith and you have to go after something and keep going after it when it really doesn't seem like it's going to play out the way you expect it to. And let me give you an example of this. Uh, back in 1998, I got totally excited about selling on eBay. I already had an offline business that was doing well selling collectibles. And when I discovered eBay, I was just suddenly blown away. I was like, wow, I can sell my products to anybody in the whole world who'd be interested in these products. See, I was selling out of a little antiques collectible store in Fullerton, California. So my market was limited to the people who could actually go to that little store, that little shop in Fullerton, California. Now, even though that shop was pretty world renowned and people came from all over the world to visit that shop and buy collectibles there, buy my collectibles there, it wasn't the same as suddenly having your products on eBay and accessible to the entire world of people who were looking for those products. So when I saw that, I got so excited and I went to town. My first week I made $1,200 on eBay and I just kept going and going and building it and building it. So about a year and a half later, I decided to write an ebook called Beyond eBay. Now this is where the luck story comes in, okay? Because I set out a goal to within one year make that ebook into a full-time income. Now the ebook by itself had a couple of upsells. So it had uh, an upsell, it was at $22.95 and then it had an upsell at $49.95 and an upsell at $69.95. Um, and within the ebook there were affiliate links. So if people took my recommendations, they clicked on the link, they bought one of those products, I got paid from that as well. So that, that one little ebook had the potential to make a full-time income. Now, back then, for me, a full-time income would have been anywhere from $2,500 to $3,500 a month. You know, it's times have changed a lot since then, right? But what I did, what I decided to do, was I decided to sell my entire collection of collectibles, which were vintage Hot Wheels cars from the 60s and 70s, and take that money, which was roughly $30,000, and set it aside so I could live on it, so I could take care of my family until such time as the ebook reached its goal of being a full-time income. Now, I didn't know in advance that this was all going to happen. I didn't know in advance how big this little project was going to grow. But what I did know in advance was what I could control. What I could control was how much work I did to promote that ebook. So what I did was I went to town, I went crazy writing articles writing articles all the time about selling on eBay, about how to sell on eBay, with tips about eBay, all about eBay. And I was writing these articles and posting them on article directories. Now these article directories still exist, but that method is no longer as powerful as it once was because everything is now shifted to video, which is why I'm here on YouTube now. So I was writing article after article after article, posting them, posting them, posting them. And every article at the end of the article had a little blurb about me, Dave Espino's author of Beyond eBay, to receive uh, his first chapter of his book for free, you know, click this link or something like that. And that would build an email list for me. People would opt in to get the first chapters or whatever of the book. And then once they got the first chapters and they read the book, they would have an option to buy the book, buy the entire book. So... I did that, it was building my email list, it was building my audience, and it was building sales. And in a short period of time, because of all that hard work that I put in, all these articles that I wrote and plastered them everywhere, I got noticed by an online publication called Superseller. Now Superseller had 60,000 subscribers, so it was really cool. And what I did was I contacted them, I said, look, I've got all these articles, here's my portfolio, so to speak. I would love to write about eBay for your publication. And because I noticed that they had very few articles in their email newsletter to begin with, I figured I had a good shot at getting my articles in there. So they said yes, they accepted me as an author, and every time I would write an article, I could count on making maybe three or four hundred dollars in sales from the little blurb at the end of my article that said, Dave Espino is the author of Beyond eBay. To get a free excerpt from his book, visit, you know, homebasedbusinessowner.com. 
very soon I started getting some notoriety. I started being known as an eBay expert. Well, at that point, it became clear that my little ebook, my one humble little ebook, was now making $3,000 a month when you combine the sales of the ebook plus the affiliate commissions that I was making from within the ebook and everything related to it. And $3,000 a month was awesome. I mean, it was what I had originally planned or hoped to do, but I didn't know what happened, you know. So, what, what happened is I worked my way into luck. This is the point of today's video. I worked my way into luck by busting my butt, by working hard, by creating a lot of content to support driving traffic to this ebook. And I got lucky the first time when Superseller picked me up as an author. I got lucky the second time when I was contacted by an infomercial company out of the blue and said, we would like to uh, consider featuring you on our eBay infomercial. And that was like, wow. And what, what, found, what I found out later was that out of 100 people that they were considering, they ended up choosing me to be on their infomercial. Now, at the time, I didn't know how big it could be. I didn't know how much I could make from that opportunity. Uh, we prayed about it. We decided, let's do it. And I went for it. Well, that infomercial ended up making me royalties, a total passive income on my information product, my book and DVD set all about how to sell on eBay. It was basically a full-blown training package on how to sell on eBay. Uh, that infomercial ended up making me my first millions. And I was blown away because when I set up that first little ebook, the Beyond eBay ebook, I had no idea that that exercise, that that effort, that working my butt off that hard sacrificing my collectibles, $30,000 worth, selling them in order to have money to live on, that all of that process that I took in faith, total faith, by the way, I didn't know in advance that any of this stuff was going to happen, that that was going to lead to being on TV, being seen by millions of households in, in the United States, selling 300,000 copies of my eBay product, my How to Sell on eBay training course, generating $140 million in sales, of which I got a, a small percentage, which equaled millions. And I had no idea. But what I want to illustrate today is the principle that you work your way into luck. You work hard, you have faith, you go after a solid plan. You've got to have a solid plan. See, you could work at a, at a mediocre plan all your life and not get where you, where you want to go, right? You've got to start with a solid plan. You've got to know what you're doing and know that what you're doing has potential to reach success. I knew what I was doing. My initial goal was to get my ebook to 3000 a month. That was a very realistic goal. I had no idea though that the, all that effort that I had worked on paid off when opportunity met timing and I had created my own luck by working really hard, by hustling hard every day, by making it happen you know, and not knowing that the opportunity that was going to come at me was this infomercial that was going to just be amazing. Not knowing that. That's all the stuff that happens from luck. But see, had I not worked so hard and built up a an following and an audience and a presence online, they may not ever have discovered me and I may not have ever made those millions. So work your way into luck. That's what happens when you work hard and you're busting it and you're hustling every day, you're making it happen every day, you're going to see doors open for you. You're going to see opportunities open for you that you maybe didn't even expect, maybe didn't even think about. And people are going to look at that and say, wow, they're lucky. Um, it's amazing how lucky they are. And it's not luck. It's hard work. It's daily hustle. It's busting your butt. It's making things happen so that you are elevating yourself in terms of your presence on the internet or your audience size or your ability to uh, command, you know, speaking engagements or whatever, you're elevating yourself in the eyes of the internet or in the eyes of the world out there. Uh, and when you do that, good things are going to happen. Luck is going to happen. So I hope you enjoyed today's daily hustle. We talked about how to work your way into luck and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.